Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 37 of Healing Good Pretty Hair. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I am so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I made a little joke before I started recording. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, because it's autumn. Yeah. Damn, like, how are they going to do the Christmas episode then? Because... Did this get a Halloween episode though? No. Oh. That's going to be weird going if... Okay, it will be really weird if next week... We get the Halloween episode. <laughs> that might be, you know what? It'll, also, I accept it. Because you know what? When last year, when I was binging Is the Order a Rabbit, I think we had, there were moments where we weren't even near Christmas. <laughs> and there was a Christmas episode. And it's like, oh, almost. <laughs> I went, you're nowhere near the third holidays. And it's like, damn, you can only really feel festive <laughs> just for like a teeny tiny moment. And be like, all right, it's gone. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, there's something else I got to do. Well, I can't really do that till actually Christmas because there's something I want to do and I can't really talk about it yet. Until probably Christmas, but it's gonna be fun. I think some people might know what it is if I say it immediately, but um, I'll just say it's something I used to do that I want to bring back on a certain day. No, it's not Christmas, <laughs> it'll possibly be on New Year's. Maybe I just gotta see if I'm not busy on that day. I shouldn't be busy on that day because most of my animes for winter will be over. Because, yeah, everything should be done by then. And I'll probably be crying about Akudama Drive because you know that ends this week. <sighs> and I just need to see if my fine ass Bondo don't die because I don't want him to die. Aww. Pumpkin. <laughs> you know I'm craving I'm kind of craving grapes it's a good thing I have grapes in my fridge I can eat after that hmm? we're finally seeing other animals hmm. it's good Sir, your voice is familiar. Yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm, nope. No, we are. <laughs> no. I swear I know that voice. We are not going to do like we did. With no guns life and I fell in love with a man with a gun for a head. No. I'm already trashed with that. Like, that is the lowest I can go. Mm-mm. Oh, oh, my God. These are cute. There's a whole bunch of ways. Um, 
And they don't clean up. I mean, Jesus. Oh. Hmm. oh, that's good. I know, right? She just hungry. Oh my god, Jean. You see how pretty her is? Oh my god. Oh. Jesus. I mean, you know, honestly, we're seeing the three different levels of an artist. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Latte? Ten out of ten. Frame it. Help make copies of it. I buy it. Go play in the water or something? I mean, yeah, maybe. Hell, then you wouldn't like it when it gets cold. I mean, Jesus. Really, you know... Can you? Can you really? <laughs> Pictures worth a thousand words! <laughs> I mean, did this just confirm that, you know, he's for the other team? I mean, hey, that's a good way to do it, I'm saying, because, you know, he's... I've kind of been wondering that, like, ever since the first time we saw him. <gasps> uh <laughs> He might be like that one other dude from, um... Hagato? Yeah. The first one who was really freaking cute. And I was just like, you know, the day you find out they're for the other team, you're just like, Oh! Uh -huh. mm. hmm? oh, thank God. Yeah, you know, you feed them like a Pokemon.
You see that platter? Oh my god. Fruit and cheese! <laughs> Your girl so bougie. <laughs> it's just probably straight up fruit, but you know what? Yeah, I'm definitely eating some grapes after this. Daughter, like, I just oh, ha, huh. I can't with him. Yeah, but because of Corona, time goes by so slow. have to go home. Oh, God. I don't even like the fact that Peggy Time is talking about this because this is something that's in the back of my mind. The closer and closer we're getting to the end of this series and I'm like, oh my God. Huh? Mm. No! <laughs> you see Latte Latte like, mm, we about to do it out like, oh! What did you have to backhand him? Jesus. Oh. God, I can't. I can't with him. He he just like just holds his hair back. He pulls it back. He did the Makoto free. Like You know, if Kobayashi Seiyu was ever in another anime where she plays a man, just, that's it. <laughs>
Phoebe. This was their episode. Oh my god. I mean, and you know what? Overall, like, with the last few seasons, except, like, Go Princess. Go Princess and maybe Kitty Kitty Pretty... Yeah, Go Princess and Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl mode. I can't say for freaking Hugato. I would have to rewatch and be like, Hugato moments. But I literally don't remember an episode that uh, honestly focused on Hugutan and Hugutan herself. Except when Hugutan was here tomorrow and such. But that was it. Did... Did she get... Hold on. Wait, no. Hold on. Did she? No. Well, yeah. But then I'm also now thinking of what's her face from Twinkle. Did... I don't know. I don't remember. I watch too many shows, so sometimes I'll be like, mm-hmm. In one ear, at the other. But yeah. I love the fact that the mascots are getting, like, a main focus because... They need this. Maybe attack her from behind? Of course, Daddy. I mean, you know what? And I'm gonna say it. Daddy would be more annoying than freaking Pacadio was in Kitty Kitty Pretty Call Mode with him and Whip and, you know, that situation and how, you know, a lot of people ship them together. Because, of course, there are people who ship Daddy and Grace. Um, hold up. Did did Earth put a shield up? That's not good. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit, they might lose this episode. Oh. Oh. Baby. No. That freaking violin. <sighs> See, you you just gonna make me want to rewatch Go Princess Pretty Gear. Like honestly, who? I, mm. 
Maybe I'll rewatch episode one tonight. Yeah, because, you know, we are getting closer and closer to the end of the series. Yeah! <laughs> Well, let's hope so, because Jesus, man. We hope. <laughs> Nothing. We ain't crying about it now. We, we gotta wait until like what, February? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about that. The more and more I think about it, it's going to be so freaking hard to say goodbye to these mascots. Like, oh my god. Y'all remember how, like, was I, mm. Yeah, I was. I was, like, hella sad when Hagutan, like, had to leave. That broke me because, what, that was the year where nothing but baby animes was coming out. Between that and freaking school babysitters. And I was just like, oh my god, like. I think I want kids. Like, oh my god, shit. <laughs> but at the same time, like, because I have a pet. And I've had pets in the past. And the one thing that we hate is saying goodbye. And the fact that we're getting closer and closer to saying goodbye to these four, it hurts me. And I just, I want to put it in the back of my mind and be like, no, don't come out until, like, you know, it's time. But just when you, when you look at how many episodes we have left, it's getting more and more real. It's kind of like, I remember when I finished not only Go Princess, but, uh, freaking Maho Girls. And when I finally just started to do reactions for this show, and how I was so heartbroken because those two shows had ended. And I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to get feels like this again. Even though in a way, I am. But still, it's it's not the same. Each Pretty Cure series is a different experience. You're not going to experience the same thing that you experienced with the previous series. I knew that was coming. I'm not surprised that we're getting her answer next week because it makes the most sense because the fact is, like I said, we're getting closer and closer down to the nitty gritty. This is going like if you're okay, comparing it to like not um, Star Trinkle Pretty Cure. Um, what the hell was before? Hagato? Hagato? Kira Kira? Go princess. All of them. But you know what? Fuck it. All of the freaking pretty cares. When we get to the closest, like, to the end of the series, that is when we eventually get to see what these girls want to do for the rest of their lives. And for Chiyu, it, it is the hardest because it's either trying to continue becoming an athlete or giving that dream up and just becoming an innkeeper. And something tells me that if she gives up 
becoming an innkeeper of course her little brother is going to take it he will be next in line but it, i think it's going to be a little hard decision for her it's almost like how um madoka from last year's season had stuff to str- she had a lot of things to struggle with her and freaking elena had a lot of issues to struggle with like you, you would think my least favorite character of that show had ish to struggle but to me even now I feel like she didn't struggle with a lot of things that everybody else besides her you know because (laughs) in the first half of the show she was so good and then the second half I was like I don't want to see this chick anymore oh my god but I mean yeah I just whatever she decides it's gonna be good for her no matter what you're still no at the end of the day you, me, and everybody else who watches this damn show is going to support her whatever she's going to pick in the end. That's the same thing for Nadoka, and it's going to be the same thing for um, Hina, but... Oh, God, can we talk about Umi for a minute? God, Umi's just going to go back to being a statue. That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Oh my god, I didn't think about this till now. Oh shit, oh my god. Deja, what the fuck? Oh my god, no. Oh. That's really gonna suck. She's not gonna be able to walk freely. Unless, like, something happens and, you know, Lante's mom is like, yeah, yeah, because the power of this, you could walk freely. You know, you're an actual person again and not a statue. I mean, oof, like. Help. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I got nothing. Nothing. Like, but yeah, this is a good episode. For an episode that was originally supposed to be a fall episode, to see something like this in a winter as season, because it, even though it's still fall, but it's almost Christmas, I, it, it's nice. As I said at the beginning, you know, when I was watching um, Izzy Go to a Rabbit and I was binging it and stuff, and I, how we had a Christmas episode in the summer, and I was like, how does this work? I was like, you want me to feel festive in the summertime? I was like, no, like during the summertime, I want to go outside and just like soak in the sun and go to the beach and whatever. But even having like a freaking fall automatic episode, it just makes you want to just chill, be calm and serene. Go look at the leaves. You really don't want to go look at the leaves right now because there ain't no damn leaves here where I am. Like, yeah, we still got leaves, but it, you know what, here, right now, it, it looks like the four seasons have come. Because outside right now, it looks like it's fall. Even though it's cold as I don't know what. But that's my state. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really good episode. Honestly, I just cannot wait to see the outcome of what Chiyu chooses. And how... It's going to impact her life. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 37 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 38. Bye, guys.